All right, I'm here with my boys at the Bell Sensplex in Canada, Ontario. It's the 2013 Snowmobile Preview Show. So you guys want to head in and check this thing out? Yeah! See some uh, yeah. big trailers there behind us, so there's going to be some cool sleds. You want to check it out, boys? Yeah! yeah. That's Canadian. That is a four stroke. Each of the manufacturers like to highlight what their upgrades were for 2013. Uh, Yamaha came out with this little 120cc sled that the kids were just all over it. You know, my oldest there maybe. It's probably too big for that sled, and he likes his little Alain. Uh, but my youngest, I could barely get him off this thing. He was just running back and forth, hopping all over that. No more two-stroke biking anymore, as we know. No more 540. They're all liquids. Um, big sled. Nice. Now, they did come out with the electric power steering, which is, I don't think anybody else had it at the show in their sled. So that might appeal to some of the viewers, some of the riders out there. Over at the Polaris display, I checked out this uh, limited edition 800 Pro RMK with the 155 track on it. You know, the build quality on this sled was actually very good. I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, you'll see me pick up the front and the back on it. It's very light sled. I couldn't believe it. And the build quality, like I said, was very good. Not like the Skidoo's when they first came out with their lightweight mountain machines where they were bending and twisting. I don't know. They'll have to see how this RMK holds up. Uh, but they certainly look to have done a, a pretty darn good job of this you know check out me lifting up the front and the back end on this thing and you'll see um, time will tell how they hold up hi Steve how are you doing? good good That is a big machine. Yeah, but it'll be pretty heavy, eh? No, don't even climb. And Articat showcased their new Skidoo inspired chassis. Anyway, I took a quick look at it. Quite the heavy sled, but you know, they're always up on their power. Articat like their power and their speed. You do showcase their new T-Motion rear suspension and you can see when I lean over on the sled the whole rear suspension pretty much stays flat on the floor. Um, the track itself sort of bends as well on the side so it's quite the neat thing. Uh, it'll be good for the mountain guys. Weight wise heavier than the Polaris but still not too bad. Uh, they had this cool display you could pull on it with a four foot pry bar and just twist that whole suspension around this rear hind joint 
you could see it articulate around that, which was uh, quite the cool thing. And here is their entry level sled, I was told, which is the MX Zed. All right, so we're in the show. We've checked out all the sleds. Pretty cool, pretty impressive. Lots of nice features on these new machines. Um, you know, like usual, for me, I always go and lift up the back of the sleds because I want to see how heavy they are, right? And, uh, you know, talking to every manufacturer out there, they're not really concerned very much about the weight. For their mountain lineup, yes, they are because everybody wants a light sled in the mountain. But uh, nobody's really trying to make a lightweight utility sled anymore. Everything is just they're massive. There's the Bearcat here. I wasn't even going to attempt to lift that up. There. Had the uh, Viking there, the Yamaha. Nice sleds, but they're not really built for what we kind of do up at our camp, you know, the trail breaking and the utility type of stuff. Anyway, uh, my impression so far that you know that Polaris that is one light snowmobile front and back, pretty impressive. Hard to. Uh, to compare that to anything here you know as far as weight goes so you know i'm not really brand loyal to anything but when it comes right down to it something that's going to last something that's built well and something light that's light is going to get my vote so anyway uh have a look at some of the video here i made there are some pretty neat sleds you know i don't get right into the fast uh, trail riding sleds because they just don't interest me but these are the 2013 lineup uh so you'll see all these things out on the trails next year Thanks for watching. One other interesting piece of information that I did find out was that quite possibly one of the big four might not be around. They're actually thinking about just closing their snowmobile doors, basically their production and manufacturing. Uh, you know, it's a rumor, but uh, who knows? You know, these winters we've been getting around here, you know, they're just not cutting it. And you know, is the mountain?